Every once in a while, I kind of stop and ask myself a couple questions, and maybe you should too. Would you start a music career knowing that you would never grow past local? Maybe sell about 100 copies, and the most that would ever come to your shows is about 15, 20 folks, and all your events would be in holes in the wall. But your best friend, who you started with, learned instruments with, would grow to superstardom, wildly successful. And the entirety of your career existed solely as a diving board for that dude's unimaginable success. He will go platinum, and you, a platform. Local. Loyal. Would you still do it? Would you quit your job, drop out of school, save your allowance for that first piece of equipment? What if you never make it? But all your friends do. Would you sacrifice your home life for a business if you knew that it'll never quite turn the corner? But the little dude that swept the floor, huh, he's on the cover of Forbes, would you? Would you have written one single paragraph? Would you have recorded one syllable? One, knowing the reason you were given a gift and a passion was for someone else's platform? I wonder if Mandela would have uttered one word knowing he would lose his children and his wife to 30 plus years of prison and small minded people would nitpick at his flaws after his death. Was the abolishment of apartheid worth it? What if he saw the future? Would you sign up for Little League knowing you'd never go pro? What if you knew that greatness would never come? Just struggle, the type of struggle that forges fortunes from lumps of coal, would you do it? Me neither. Mystery is such a strange gift. The unknown is such a wonderful vegetable. It's a good thing we can't see the future. Because we'd ruin it every chance we get. All right, one more time. I'm in there now. Hmm. And I watched them covet your camaraderie, your sense of family, your food and work ethic, but not your struggle. We were jealous you had a homeland and a native tongue, and your parents spoke it, and we were just the offspring of the broken.